Now you may be asking yourself, what exactly is going on and what is Minion Soldier doing at Korea and why doesn't he have a weapon out? Well, it's a long story. But suffice it to say, after yesterday's episode where I got my five-star crime stat rating, I realized that I was now suffering from a bug where I could no longer equip any type of weapons or equipment on my character except for armor. For some reason, none of this was available to me. So I realized that having that five-star crime stat rating was probably a bad thing and something that I should get rid of. So I snuck over to Korea on an Age of Saber and intended to reduce my crime stat rating whilst having access to absolutely no weapons. <laughs> Sorry, I, you know, I can only keep that voice up for certain short periods of time. But yeah, so here I am at Korea, at least trying to ditch the crime stat rating. No weapons, can't carry anything, you know. I've tried equipping everything I have in my inventory. Nothing works, so... I've got to get rid of this crime stat rating. I got to be able to travel around freely because until I figure out how to get rid of this bug, whether I can just delete the user folder or what do I got to do, or at least check out if other people are having the same bug, you know, at the very least, I still got to make videos, right? So I got to dry, drop this crime stat rating. I mean, I got to make this game playable, right? Now I know what you're going to say. Oh, good. So we're going to watch this screen. That'll only take about an hour. Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost exactly an hour it took. But we had a few adventures along the way. Now, the hack was proceeding pretty much as you would expect it to. There's a bit of a new interface here. It's actually kind of interesting. It once again shows you the progress of the hack. I think if you played in 3.0, you'd notice that the hack wasn't exactly changing. But now it's actually going, accessing database it moves around through different things and you know these windows will pop up and you know drop down move to different positions as the hack is proceeding so everything was kind of going pretty much as i expected it would it was just going to take some time to get there and i had kind of settled in and gotten a little bit relaxed and thought what's the worst that could happen Now you may have just barely heard that before the alert sound, but there was a strange and out of place sound. And if you're used to coming to Korea to lower your crime stat rating, you know that that can only mean one thing. Something new has been introduced into the environment and we got to find out what it is. Yep, we got ourselves a freelancer, so we're going to go and move to the furthest part of the station from that person. But unfortunately, thanks to that very short sprint, we have now driven our heart right through the roof. I mean, that's completely crazy, right? I mean, wasn't our guy supposed to be a former member of the military? I mean, you'd think he'd be in better shape than that. Hello? I know, I know, it's Alpha, sorry. But, yeah, so we gotta get this heart rate down. <laughs> oh, and oxygen. Yeah, I guess that too. Fun. So, yeah, we gotta figure out what's going on outside of the station. We also gotta figure out what's possibly going on inside of the station. We got no weapons. None. And... I mean, we're now we're having this, this problem with our heart rate because this very light suit of armor, we've run maybe 50 yards and we've nearly given ourselves a heart attack. Now, the obvious thing is, is we got to get outside of the station. If we're inside of the station, we're trapped. We got to get out. We got to get some space. We got to get some distance from whoever this is. And we've got to assess the situation. We got to get eyes on them while they don't have eyes on us. So 
we're moving outside and hopefully you know at least you know suit oxygen lasts for a really long time right so hopefully that will you know last us a while long enough so that the current hack that we have going can finish and we have time to get outside and assess the situation oh what do you know heart attack we're having a heart attack again great now the thing about this high heart rate is of course is when your heart rate's that much higher you're of course using oxygen that much more your suit has a limited supply and you know still we got to get eyes on whoever this is we got to see what the heck is going on but we got to calm down because otherwise we're going to burn through our oxygen now in 3.0 the suit still held a fair amount of oxygen so I don't think that we have to worry too too much I've done a lot of EVA in the game so we should be pretty okay but if you're watching that oxygen gauge you're noticing that uh, you know what uh, I think that our oxygen usage as a player probably along with our overall state of fitness needs a bit of a tweak like, yeah, no shit, working on it right now. I know, I know, I know. It's alpha. Well, it seems that the immediate crisis has passed, right? So what we got to do is we got to kind of get get eyes on what's happening. We got to find out who all is here. And we got to get a better perspective on things because even on this platform, someone could just walk up behind us and shoot us. We got to move to a better position. We got to get a bird's eye view on this situation. Best way to do that, get off this platform and start EVAing around up, up above, look down on this situation and uh, hopefully be able to assess exactly what we're dealing with. At this point, you can hear the shooting going on in the background, and the freelancer is, yep, it's still here, so we've got multiple people hanging around here, kind of fighting it out. But I can still see the icon for my saber, so chances are my saber is still tucked in there at the bottom of the tower, and so it might still be fine. As long as this person isn't shooting at my saber, but I can't see who's shooting. It's obviously not the freelancer, and the freelancer isn't getting shot. And something just blew up, so... <laughs> it looks like somebody's having a battle still. The saber icon is still showing up. Maybe it's a good time to think about cutting our losses and just getting out of here and coming back and finishing it at an odd hour when more people are... Well, most people are likely not to be playing Star Citizen. Kind of wake up early and get it done. And yeah, there's a Cutlass Black on the far platform and somebody else shooting it. This place has gotten way too crowded and maybe it's time to think about going somewhere else. This has become a bit of a problem. You, you know what? You got to no one to hold them, no one to fold them. Oh shit, the freelancer, the guy was still in it. Uh, yep, it's time to go. All right, while those two are fighting each other, this is a perfect time to get down there, get to the saber, and uh, just get the hell out of here. 
Oh no, don't. Don't get close to my ship. Look at how quickly the oxygen is bleeding out of my suit. I mean, it's almost like the game is using my oxygen as EVA fuel. Is it? Is that what we're doing? We're, we're double dipping our oxygen supplies to use as mobility for EVA? That's great. That's, that's awesome. Fantastic. Love it. Get down to the saber while trying to dodge through a dogfight and not asphyxiate on the way down. No pressure. Yeah, well, that saber's finished, so I guess we got to get back into the station now with uh, only four minutes of oxygen left. Oh, sorry, three minutes. Nope, sorry, three and a half minutes. Oh, yeah, no, we're just bleeding off all our oxygen EVA. Yeah, this should be easy. Uh, oops, no, nope. wrong way. Gotta go around the other way. Perfect timing on that. How much time do we have left? Oh, yeah, no problem. See? No problem. Crisis perverted. Now we just gotta find a place to shack up, hide, and uh, you know, replenish our oxygen supply, which at least is pretty much going as fast as we spent it. Great. Well, if we're trapped in the station, it'd probably be a good idea to get the next stage of the hack going. At least get that rolling and, you know, if we can drop our crime stat low enough, at least once we log back into the game, we'll be able to move around a lot more freely. Now, let's go find a place to hide. Shh, no one will ever find us here. Except for the fact that we're decked out with all kinds of little glowy lights that prevent us from blending in. Great. All right, well, our third crime stat rating has come off. We just need to get one more down and we should be fairly free to move around in the Star Citizen universe. So, you know what? I think it's safe to kind of sneak out and just hit that last hack if we can just get one of those down then we should be good i don't think there's anybody here we should be all right yeah you know what let's go let's take a peek at the panel see if anyone's around and then we'll just set up the next hack nope all right let's back off and reassess Wait, you remember recently they were showing us this video of all the, like, the melee takedowns and stuff? 
There's got to be a basic melee attack in the game, right? Like something like to hit with your hand. Where is it? Let me pop pop up the on foot controls. There it is, the five key. Five key is melee. Problem is, you need to be holding a weapon in order to use it. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not in the cards either. Ultimately, I was able to sneak around in the station long enough to uh, basically knock my crime stat down. Got it all the way to zero, so at least that's one thing off my plate. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And it was kind of an interesting experience. There's something to be said for, you know, sneaking around and knowing how to kind of stay out of people's sight lines and just being able to evade people and evade detection. I think that's a big thing is... You know, if people don't even know you're there, they're not going to be looking for you. And even though that saber was there in the beginning, that kind of gave away the fact that I was here. I think in the, you know, in the hustle and the bustle of the fight of these people taking each other on, they would never realized that I was there knocking down my crime stat rating. So overall, even though it was frustrating, it was a really fun experience. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Thank you, thank, you, thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.